Hi. Uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate quickly what happens when you browse with an IP address from a different country. Now, everybody's got an IP address. Um, when you connect online, um, you have to get an IP address, which stands for Internet Protocol Address. And it's part of the TCP IP stack that everybody has to use to get online. Um, basically, you wouldn't be able to access any websites without an IP address. Um, now, the IP address is also used by lots of um, different websites um, using a system called geolocation to help customize what you see when you're online. OK, so to demonstrate, if I go into Google and I type plumbers, what Google will do is look at my IP address, look at my location and then give me plumbers that are um, nearby. So um, it's kind of obvious, but let's just show you and I'll zoom out. Uh, oops. So I'm in North Wales and it's given me loads of plumbers nearby. I don't have to type in an address or a location or something. It's looked at my IP address, seen my location and um, show me the best results. <clears throat> Normally, that's what people want. OK, uh, another example of an IP address being used, if I go to my favorite website, which is BBC iPlayer. When I go, it actually looks up and checks the location of my IP address and makes sure it's in the UK. Uh, because I'm in the UK, it will let me go forward and I can then go and play all the programs uh, for free. It's my one of my favorite programs, The Detectorist. Well recommended. Uh, let me just stop that before I get a copyright strike. So as you can see, BBC has looked up my location from my IP address. Now, what happens if I change to another country? So I'll just show you what happens. OK, it can get a little bit confusing, but it's perfectly logical. Um, to do to change your IP address, you can either obviously move country or you can use something called a VPN. Now, I use a VPN um, from company called NordVPN. I've used loads of different VPNs over the years, but NordVPN I use, it's got loads of features. It's one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, I think. And it's got servers all over the world, which I quite often use. OK, so I'm going to show you here. You can see all the servers there. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Uh, and all these servers I can connect to. Let me go to... Ooh. Monaco sounds good. Oh, no, no, Portugal. So let me connect to Portugal. Uh, so this is basically my computer connecting to um, a VPN server in Portugal. Right, looks exactly the same. It's protecting my internet connection because the VPN is now encrypted. But it has also changed the physical, kind of the physical location of my computer. It has now got a Portuguese IP address. At least all the websites see a Portuguese IP address. I haven't, of course, changed location. So let me just go and um, show you what's changed. So we'll start a browser. Uh, let's go into Firefox this time and type in plumbers again. OK, so remember, now I've got um, a VPN connection to Portugal, to a, a VPN server in Portugal. So you can see I've just typed in plumbers. And my first um, location, my first search result is a plumbers in Lisbon, plumbers in, and you can see Portugal, uh, lots of Portuguese type um, answers. And there's the little businesses, local businesses to near me. And if I just think, oh, I think this is in Lisbon in Portugal. Um, no, it's somewhere else. In, oh, yes, no, that is Lisbon. Beg your pardon. Uh, so, yeah, we're in Lisbon, and um, it's showing me all the businesses from Lisbon, uh, plumbers in Lisbon. So, basically, Google has now been fooled to thinking I'm in Lisbon. Okay, so not really much use there. It's of lot of use to people who do different things online. If you want to do research or log into different sites, perhaps you sort of um, live across the world and you want to try and um, uh, browse based on your previous location or you want to search hotels or 
business in a different place. You know, instead of having to type in Plumbers Lisbon, you can just change your IP address. Lots of people use it for businesses and marketing and various dodgy things as well. Um, we can also show you one of the downsides. Now that um, it looks websites think I'm in Lisbon, I can go to my, again, my favourite website. And if I try and watch Race Across the World from... Um, from the BBC iPlay, you can see it won't let me. It now thinks I'm in Lisbon, in Portugal. So it says BBC iPlay only works in the UK. Sorry, it's due to rights issue. So it can cause problems as well, but it's easily remedied. If you have a VPN, you can just disconnect it and you go back to your home location or change to the country you need. Very, very useful if you do a lot of work or you spend a lot of time online. A VPN is extremely handy. Okay, but you've got to be aware that... You know, there are some niggles to it as well. Uh, until I disconnect my VPN, let me just go back to it. Uh, I'll be in Portugal as far as any website goes. So, um, yes, useful, very useful, but also can be a little bit inconvenient if you forget about it. Um, basically, if you just want the um, security side of the VPN, your best and the best speed, your best to just defend. Uh, connect to a VPN server that's actually near your real physical location. But if you're in Portugal and you want to watch um, BBC iPlayer, change to a UK server. Um, NordVPN works really well with the BBC. BBC does actually block most VPNs, and you'll find a lot of sites do block VPNs, um, some of the cheaper ones anyway. Okay, so um, if you do want to use Nord, uh, there's a link in the description to their latest discounts. They change their prices all the time, but that, that'll give you the latest price. And, um, well, that's it, really. I'll, I'll go into more advanced stuff on a later video. But um, thank you very much for watching, and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.